Hey, what up everybody? It's Senny. And this is Gems of War on PS4. And today I'm going to be going over the kingdoms and the kingdom power bonuses and which kingdom you should have as your starting kingdom or your home kingdom, I'm sorry. And just some other general general information about kingdoms and whatnot. Um First thing, I uh, gotta take my tribute here. That is uh, one of the main things involving kingdoms is the tributes that they give you. Uh, they also give you stats, and uh, yeah, that's mostly it. Tribute and stats, and as you can see here, I got 24,000 gold, 300 souls, 100 glory, 16 keys, and 8 gems. So like I said in my gems video, if you collect your tribute every hour, you can get quite a few gems in one day. I know you can't collect them every hour of the day, you gotta sleep or whatnot, but if you can do it 10 times a day, that's 80 gems. If you can do it 5 times a day, that's 40 gems. And sometimes you get 10, 12, you know, or sometimes you get 5, you know, it depends. But uh, you know, keys, glory, souls, gold, the gold will add up and add up until you collect it up to like 24 hours but the souls the glory the keys the gems they don't do that you gotta collect them every hour to uh you know reset it and get more um but it shows right here what we got for our tributes uh so swords edge, edge gave us some gold and glory mcgrim woods gold souls glory glacial peaks and so on um, my home kingdom is White Helm, so I don't know why it's not on there, but, uh, huh. I think there's a chance each hour that each kingdom gives you a tribute, and the further you have them powered up, the, the more chance that they will give you a tribute. So, my home kingdom is White Helm. Uh, where do you set that? Uh, 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 this is your home kingdom so if you set it as your home kingdom you get more of the tribute so this white home gives glory let's see it gives glory right so I get 65 glory with the uh, two times and since it's my home kingdom I will get that more often or I'll get more of it or something like that I have a 30% chance to get that one so if we go look at some other kingdom maybe Pan's Veil vale. uh, I only have a 20% chance and it's not times two but it all depends on like how you pa how much you power up each kingdom so if you view your bonuses for level one you get plus 100 gold per day level two you get double tribute reward which means when they give you a tribute it'll give you twice as much so um, if this place gives you gold and souls it'll give you twice as much when it gives you a tribute if you're at power level 2 power level 3 is plus 200 gold per day power level 4 double tribute chance so that doubles your chance that you'll get a tribute for that hour from this kingdom um, power level 5 is plus 1 the kingdom skill bonus so whatever whatever the skill bonus is right here It'll give you plus two or plus one for health. So you'll get an extra health on every one of your teams for every troop. Um, and this here shows like this gives 20% tribute chance, uh, plus 10 to gem mastery for yellow, and plus two to health is what I'm getting from this one. And you can see that here too. Uh, plus one uh, kingdom skill bonus and then plus 400 gold per day if I had level 7 I'd have triple tribute rewards every time I would get a tribute from this kingdom I would get times three so say it gives you gold every hour or souls or something you would get three times as many if you had it at power level 7 and to get it at power level 7 you can just click on right uh, hold on uh, click right here and it'll show you what you need. So I need to collect three weapons from Pan's Veil, which I haven't done yet. 
and you can just click on it and it'll show the weapons and then you can hit triangle and go to unowned hit triangle again or whatever the button is for you on whatever system you're on and it'll show all the weapons you don't own and then go to the if you click on them and you go to your portrait it'll say on the left hand side available from bundles and special events only so you find the one that you can actually get which is this one, the Bard Hero Class Weapon. So I would have to get 250 victories with the Bard or wait for a class event uh, to get this weapon. So next time a Bard class event comes along, I'll probably buy the weapon with gems. Or I can just set my Hero to Bard and get 250 victories, which is pretty easy and a lot cheaper. Uh, and then I would actually have this, and I would be power level 7. Bam. Anyway, back to the beginning. Uh, for kingdoms, the one you want to set as your home kingdom, this is pretty much uh, generally decided on by everybody in the community, is White Helm, and that's what I have mine set on. So the answer to which home kingdom should I set my, uh, should I set, which kingdom should I set my home to? Uh, the answer is White Helm. It gives glory which is the best reward to get for tribute if you get gold or you get souls you just don't get enough for it to be worth anything like you could you'll get maybe you know a hundred souls at the most I don't even know what it is but if you set your tribute to souls just because you're going for Dawnbringer or whatever it's only gonna give you a little bit and it's not really gonna matter and you can get that amount in like one battle and it takes a whole hour to get that amount and you don't even have it's only a chance that you get it it's not even like a hundred percent chance so just because you're going for souls doesn't mean you should set your kingdom to a kingdom that gives souls um, the best one is white helm glory's the best resource you can get from tribute so you can turn glory into like event keys you can turn it into trade stones you can turn it into troops um, glory is just the best all-around resource and you get more you get en enough of it for it to be worth it to set your home kingdom to white helm so that's what you want to do but the very first thing you should do with kingdoms is just open all of them make sure you buy them all so you're gonna have to get some gold and level up to open them all up so that's the first thing you want to do with your kingdoms is just make sure they're all available and open and you buy them all after that you want to get them all to level 10 so I don't even remember doing this because it was so long ago but it says level 10 right there um, my star power is power level 5 and I'm at level 10 but I have all my kingdoms at level 10 uh, that's just the second thing you should do after opening all of them you should make sure to get them all to level 10 I think that just costs gold I can't even really remember but definitely do that as your second thing so first thing open them all up make sure you buy them all get them all level up to where you can open them all buy all the kingdoms make sure they're all open and then the second thing is make sure you get them all to level 10 right here it says level 10 and I think you just I think that's just gold it just costs gold I can't remember I should have looked it up but make sure you get them all to level 10 it's not that hard I got all mine to level 10 like 500 levels ago you know it's not super hard to do um, but let's look at these screens real quick here it tells you what level your kingdom is at it tells you the percent chance for your tribute it tells you what you're getting for gem mastery from this kingdom so I'm getting plus 10 to red um, and it also tells you if you're getting any kind of skill bonus from your power level which I'm getting plus two attack. Uh, income, you gain the following bonuses from this level. Gold per day, 21,650. Um, and this kingdom gives plus 645. Uh, and it tells you all the uh, why you're getting that much. Base income plus 20. Quest plus 25. And kingdom power plus 600. So you get more gold the higher you level up your kingdoms basically um, and then tribute it shows you what 
tribute you can get from this play this kingdom my chance is 20 percent if i would level it up higher i could get a higher percent chance if you go down right here it's the very next one for me uh power level nine would give me a triple tribute chance and so that's why we have a 20 percent chance right now because i only am at power level eight but i got a double tribute reward here double tribute chance on level four um and triple tribute reward on level seven and then here i would get a triple tribute chance so yeah just as high as you can get your power levels on every kingdom the more tribute you're going to get the more gold you'll get the more souls you'll get the more gems you'll get the more glory like the more passive resources you'll get just from collecting tribute um the more powerful your teams will be from gem mastery from skill bonuses uh leveling up your kingdoms is a big deal and it, it sometimes it's overlooked but you want to do it um, as quickly as possible and this is the other big soul sink in the game because after you get Dawnbringer the only other thing really to do is level up all your troops and that's involved in uh, leveling up your power level sometimes it'll ask you to level like 10 troops to level um, you know 19 or level 18 or level 15 or level 20 that'll be one of the things it asks you to do here uh, back to this though for this kingdom here I have a 20% tribute chance. I have, and the tribute reward is 300 gold, 12 glory, 36 souls. Um, and you can, I could set this as my home kingdom. This is where you would set it as your home kingdom. So if you're gonna change yours to White Helm, go to White Helm, White Helm, and then you go to Kingdom Levels and Power, and then you go to Tribute, and this is where it would say down there where it says this is your home kingdom this is where you would set it as your home kingdom and like I said glory is the best tribute this one gives pure glory so this is the best home kingdom if I wanted to level this uh, kingdom up even more I would have to unlock three traits on 21 white home troops so I'd click there I'd go in here usually I sort it by base rarity I just did this the other day or else I would have some I could probably do and show um, but every once in a while you want to check on this and see if there's uh, kingdoms you can power up it takes a lot of trait stones a lot of souls uh, ingots um, stuff like that and you gotta collect all the troops you gotta ascend them up but yeah I would have to have 21 of these troops fully traded to get the next power level and I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. So I need four more. So I'd go down here and I'd try to try to fully trait some of these. So I'd go in here to this troop, hit upgrade, go to traits. And I can do this one actually, but I need to do four of them, so I don't really want to waste the trade stones if I can only do like two of them or whatever. So I'm going to check and make sure I can do four of them first. So I go to another troop that doesn't isn't fully traded, click on that, hit upgrade, go to traits. See, I can't do this one. I'd have to get seven more uh, of the blue brown trade stone, which I could probably get in the Soul Forge right now. And that's what you'd want to do. Look in the Soul Forge, see if you can maybe maybe make those or go and grind them out. Uh, trade stone farming. Um, and then Lady Saphira, I don't have fully traded. Go look at her. I need nine of the yellow brown. So I would go. You could even click on this. Hold on. You can even click on this and go here, and then click on this. And this shows you where you can go farm them if you want to. To do that, you can check out my uh, trade stone farming video for that. But yeah, for me to fully trait uh, four more troops, uh, it's going to take me grinding or going in the Soul Forge. And I don't think I have enough to do all these trait stones, so it wouldn't be worth it to just do some of them. So I'd probably have to farm trait stones for a while just to get to the next power level. I could probably do it. And if I did, I would end up with 3.25% tribute chance. So 
the higher you go the more good stuff you get um, and that's how you check on it you go to power right here it tells you what you need to do and then you click on it and then it brings up this and then you just have to do what it asks you to do some of them just need you to level up troops to a certain level some of them just need you to complete the challenges uh, reach champion level 20 on the priest class I did that so collect four white home weapons I did that you know it just asks you to do stuff and then you have to do it um, it's not not super hard to understand but yeah what I would recommend as far as um, power uh, star level to try to get them all to first um, let's go look at this one go to power go to view bonuses um, what I would recommend at least get to power level 2 um, I would try to get them all to 5 if I were you uh, that way you can get the plus 1 stat to for the kingdom and some of the kingdoms do magic um, as their bonus see right here it says plus 2 to magic you want to do those first so if you had to choose between different kingdoms to get to um, power level uh, 5 make sure you do all the magic kingdoms first you gotta do all the magic kingdoms first go and find them all what you do is you just click on them click on this kingdom levels and power and it shows it right here the little um, glass ball there is the magic so you want to get all your magic kingdoms up to us uh, star level 5 before you do anything else with the stars let's check out Groshnok go over here power or wait uh, go right here it's the first one this one gives armor you don't want to do armor kingdoms first mist of scales kingdom levels and power this one is armor don't do that Karakoth kingdom levels and power this one does magic make sure you do that one Karakoth so Karakoth, Blighted Lands, both magic, do those first. Zalkari, also magic, do that one. And then after you get all your magic kingdoms done, make sure you do the attack kingdoms next. Because you're going to get the most benefit out of the plus, plus one, plus two to stats from magic and then attack. And then you can do HP and armor after that. Those are about the same. So make sure you do all your magic kingdoms first. Get them all to level 5 on the stars, the star level. All your magic kingdoms. Um, where where else is magic? Uh, is it Galvania? No, that's health. You don't want to do that. Kazeel. I can't remember. That's health. No. Anyway, I think Kedar. Kedar. Nope. I am wrong. Okay, anyway... Silverglade. I know that's one. There you go. Okay, my phone is ringing. Hold on a sec. Right in the middle. And I would edit that out if I was better at this, but I'm not. Okay, so yeah. Make sure you get all your magic kingdoms to level, star level 5 first of all. So let's recap just for everybody. Open all your kingdoms first thing. It's going to take gold and leveling up. So go check out my gold farming video. Uh, leveling up go check out my beginner guide do those two things do those things first make sure you get all the kingdoms opened up and then after you do that make sure you get them all to level 10 where it says there's the blue blue 10 under the kingdom make sure all those say 10 I think that just takes gold uh, but it says if you go to kingdoms level and power level 10 all mine are at 10 right now so make sure you do that second of all and then third Make sure you level up all your magic kingdoms. And you can check it right here just on kingdom level. Make sure you level all those up to uh, power level 5 over here. So you'd go over here, you'd click on whatever one isn't finished, and then you would go and finish it. Most of it's going to take trade stones, fully trading troops, or leveling a troops to certain levels so you're gonna need to farm trade stones you're gonna need to get souls and uh, yeah I'd recommend at least getting all your magic kingdoms which there's five or six of them make sure you get all those to at least level power level five and there's even you could even get them to um, the next one 
which would be power level 10, and that would give you plus 2 to magic, which would be awesome. Because that would give you magic to every single, every single troop that you use. And magic is the spell that they cast. It does more damage, it explodes more gems. That's why magic is the most important stat. Because you'll get magic for every troop in the game, for whatever move they do, whatever spell they cast. Uh, they will do it better, they will do it harder, they will hit harder, they will explode more gems, they will get more gold, they will just hit everybody for more damage. Uh, that's why when you see me play, and uh, use my troops and you're like man why is his attack that high why is his magic that high why is all his stats so high well that's why because all my kingdoms are starred up to like level 8 9 10 um, and that's where you get all those extra stats that you're wondering well, how did he get so many stats that's where you get them from the kingdom uh, power level and all of that uh, among other things like guild and whatnot but that is you know like half of it so yeah, make sure you go around, open all your kingdoms, first thing. Second thing, get them all to level 10. Third thing, make sure you get all these magic kingdoms, like Zolkari, like Blighted Lands. Uh, get them all up to power level 5, plus 1 kingdom skill bonus, right here. Kingdom level, that shows you that it's a magic kingdom. Go over here to power, go down to view bonuses, right here, plus one kingdom skill bonus. And if you can, go all the way to ten. I mean, I haven't even done that on this one, but I wish I had. So, yeah, leveling up your kingdoms gets you more stats, gets you more tribute. Jesus. And, uh, it's really good for, uh, just helping you across the board with everything. So, make sure you do that. Please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, this question was uh, asked by Lofty, by the way, so thank you, Lofty. Um, hopefully that answered your question. If not, you know, put it in the comments. And if anybody else has any uh, suggest suggestions for videos I should make, put it down in the comments, and I'll get to it eventually. Uh, yeah, so like, share, subscribe, and I'll catch y'all next time. Peace.